And NVIDIA came out with a pretty interesting piece of news yesterday that happened to hit the the trifecta of market timing. And uh, it's related to crypto, it's related to NVIDIA, and it's related to chips. I'll let you jump into this one. Yeah, so uh, appreciate that, Daniel. So uh, if, if you haven't been living under a rock, uh, which I don't think you have, particularly if you're listening to our show, uh, you recognize that there is a huge shortage of electronics. So whether it's TVs, Xboxes, PCs, Chromebooks, tablets, um, they are all uh, hard to find. Uh, Daniel and I have both addressed um, you know, the chip shortage, but it's really related to electronic shortage. I mean, when you have something like the PC market that was supposed to grow 2% and in the fourth quarter, it grew uh, 25%, uh, you know things are changing. And at the same time, uh, smartphones uh, hadn't plummeted uh, and there was actually a little bit of growth in the fourth quarter. Uh, when you look at even tablets, uh, tablets, tablet demand has gone up uh, by 2x and Chromebook demand has gone up by 5x. So things are happening and that has impacted the gaming market uh, as well. And whether it's Xboxes, PS5s or AMD or NVIDIA cards, these are hard to find. In fact, I saw the latest and greatest uh, 3090 on eBay for 3x uh, the list uh, price. So it's it's crazy. So uh, what NVIDIA announced yesterday, there were two announcements. First of all, the RTX uh, 3060, uh, they're going to decrease the Ethereum hash rate uh, performance by 50%. And they're going to create a new line of graphics cards specifically for uh, uh, crypto mining. And uh, let me give you a quick uh, uh, view of what this uh, uh, looks like here. Actually, that's uh, Daniel and I actually have to share the screen first. Uh, imagine that. You look good though. Thank you. So here's my uh, draft blog uh, that I'm about to publish. But as you can see, uh, NVIDIA brought out uh, four uh, different cards. One thing about these cards that are different from the graphics cards, they have no video out. Uh, they also uh, use um, lower power, uh, their, their lower frequency, uh, which to me, from a supply standpoint, is going to be a positive thing for gamers because uh, if you have a specific card, a uh, specific line for crypto miners and a specific line for gamers, NVIDIA can be the arbiter of the volume as opposed to eBay, right? Where uh, people are using bots to go in and buy buy the cards for gamers and then they're putting them up on um, uh, third party sites like eBay that, that are just driving up the price and, and decreasing the, the availability. Uh, what I wanted to do, Daniel, is, is go through uh, some of the um, things that I'm seeing on, on Twitter, the, the debate about it. Uh, and and kind of the pluses. And the first thing I've heard is this is bad for miners. And quite frankly, my response to that is so what? Uh, gamers are what makes NVIDIA great, not miners who are in and out based on the latest currency variant uh, or, or ASIC. I mean, uh, Bitcoin mining uh, uh, left GPUs and went to ASICs. So really what we're talking about here are primarily uh, Ethereum um, vendors. The ether. Uh, it's, sorry? I just said the ether, as they yeah, like to call it. It's, well, it's definitely smaller, uh, for sure. Uh, and also, uh, I'm hearing some talks that, that said, hey, larger mining operations write their own drivers and BIOS and are going to circumvent this. Uh, what NVIDIA told me is there, there's got to be a handshake between the driver, uh, the RTX 30 silicon, and the BIOS uh, that, uh, that prevents the removal of the hash rate limiter. Hey, we'll see. I think it's going to be kind of like uh, cat and mouse, like in security, uh, where, where you'll see some back and forth. But in the end, if the CMP line uh, is any good, then that would be a net positive for um, um, the miners anyways, and they don't have to worry about using uh, a gaming. gaming. And, and the final thing I want to hit uh, Daniel, I think you'll appreciate this, is people are saying it's bad because, hey, this is just spill off for using defective G-Force chips. And I'm like, so what? It's brilliant. I mean, the, the name of the game in, in semiconductors is about maximizing um, a known good die at the highest price possible. 
Uh, and, and that uh, is what, you know, I'm, I'm speculating that's what NVIDIA is doing here because they didn't pass voltage, frequency, or some other uh, GeForce uh, gaming, gaming test. That doesn't make this silicon lesser. Um, I think it's a, a, a smart, uh, I think it's a smart move. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it short because you covered all the meat here, Pat. But um, look, the NVIDIA momentum is strong. Th there's going to be a, a year ahead of them, and I don't want to dive too, in, too deep into it. But with the arm deal on the fringe, uh, the company needs to continue to show its prowess uh, despite what's going on with that, that it's innovating, it's breaking, um, it's breaking barriers, and it's dealing with this shortage effectively. NVIDIA's momentum is legitimate. Two, crypto is hot. I mean, look. Besides the cold spell in Austin this week or in Texas, Austin is Texas to me, um, there wasn't much news other than game stonks and Bitcoin. That was it. If you watch did the you say, show, Did you say stonks? Yeah, that's what Elon calls all them. All right, man. I'm just, you know, okay. Um, they were all the memes, stonk memes or whatever. I'm being a little funny. But look, that's what is on the 50,000 Bitcoin. Well, tr there's a whole ecosystem of cryptocurrency and NVIDIA has an opportunity. It is a, it's a nine-figure business for NVIDIA uh, using their GPUs for mining. Having a set of specific products to deal with this is great. And by the way, three, this showed a genuine empathy for its gaming community, which, as you said, Pat, is where the money is for NVIDIA. Their gamers love them. Telling their gamers they can't have chips so that, you know, quote-unquote, greedy miners can be out there mining their ether um, on a temporary basis where they're just going to dispose of these cards once the, the algos have been shifted or the frameworks have changed, they're doing the right thing. 